Hello, Jack here, product specialist here at Ascend Aeronautics, and today I'm going to introduce you to something that's going to change the way that you think about flying drones. The AR800 motion control drone. With its built-in HD 1080p camera, you can capture crisp photos and smooth videos all from the sky. This little beauty doesn't just fly well, it follows your moves like never before. So what makes the AR800 different? This isn't your standard joystick drone. The AR800 uses a brand new intuitive motion controller with its own built-in gyro. Tilt the controller forward and the drone flies forwards. Lean it to the left and the drone banks to the left. This is like steering with your hand instead of just your thumbs. But more on that later. Let's get started with how to charge your battery. Step one is charging the battery. First, remove the battery and the charging cord from your box. Insert the USB side of the cable into a certified USB outlet. You will see the charger turn green. Then, insert the smaller side of the cable into the battery. This will only go one way, so don't force it. The USB will then turn red, indicating that you are charging the battery. Charging takes around 70 to 80 minutes and gives you up to eight minutes of flight time. Perfect for a quick photo mission or learning tricks. Once the battery is charged, the USB will turn green. Then you can remove the cable from the battery and you are almost ready to fly. Now you have a fully charged battery, it's time to learn how to sync and calibrate to your drone. First, turn the drone upside down and slide in the battery. You can then slide the small tab on the battery to lock it into place. To sync the drone to the controller, first unfold the arms if you haven't already done so. These lock into place with a little click, no muscle required. Syncing is simple. Turn on the drone with a small switch underneath and you will see the lights flashing. Then press and hold the on button on the controller. You will hear a beep and the lights will go solid. This indicates that you have successfully bound the drone to the controller. Now, before you fly, you can calibrate the drone's internal gyro as well as the controller's internal gyro. Place the drone on a flat level surface, place the controller on a flat level surface and press and hold the auto takeoff and land button for three seconds. You will see the controllers and the drone's lights flash then come to a solid, or in the controller's case, turn off. This means that you have successfully calibrated the drone and the controller's internal gyros, and you are ready to take flight. Flying the AR800 is super intuitive. To make the drone fly forwards, simply tilt the controller forwards. To bring it back towards you, tilt the controller back. To sweep to the left, simply roll the controller to the left, and to sweep to the right, roll the controller to the right. To make the drone spin around in place, rotate the controller like so, and the drone will spin in place. At the top of the controller, you will see a circle of lights. These lights follow how you tilt the controller. This is a great training aid before you take your first flight. If there are no lights, then the drone should be hovering in place. And you can see as I tilt forwards and bring it backwards, the lights follow. Flying the drone is a bit of a balancing act. If it starts to fly away from you, gently pull it back towards you. If it starts to fly to the left, gently sweep the drone to the right. This takes a bit of practice, but you will be a master in no time. Now you've learned how to fly the AR800, it's time to take flight. To take off, just press the auto start and land button and the drone will automatically lift off by itself. To land, press the button once more. What's really important to know is when you press the auto start and land button, the controller remembers its orientation and resets the yaw control. So when you're flying, try not to wander around too much. Identify your flying area and remember to return the controller back to the center to avoid any unintended yaw drift. If you would like to fly in a different area, land the drone, move to your intended area and take off again. It's that simple. 
To make the drone ascend and descend with the motion controller, you have to press the ascend or descend buttons on the side of the controller. The AR800 also comes with a more traditional drone controller. To sync to this controller, turn the drone on as you did before and then hold the on button on the controller. Move the left hand stick all the way to the top until you hear a beep and back to the bottom until you hear another beep. The drone's lights will go solid, indicating that you have successfully bound the drone to the controller. Now on this controller, we have two control sticks. The left hand stick controls the height and the yaw control. And the second control stick moves the drone forwards and backwards and banks the drone to the left and to the right. The same principle of balance applies here. If the drone is moving away from you, gently pull it back towards you using the right hand stick. If it's drifting to the left, put in a small amount of right banking movement. Small movements are key to a smooth and successful drone flight. The drone comes with three speed settings. When you bind your drone to your controller, it will start in the slow speed mode, perfect for beginners. To change the speed mode, you can press the speed button on either one of your controllers as shown here. When you press this button, you will hear a sequence of beeps. Slow for beginners, medium for confident pilots, and high for when you're ready to channel your inner stunt pilot and rip around the sky. To calibrate the drone with the traditional controller, you need to move both sticks down to the bottom and both over to the right hand side. You'll hear a beep and the drone's lights will start flashing. Once it's successfully calibrated the internal gyro, the lights will return solid. So now we've got the hang of flying your AR800 and we are feeling confident, we can learn how to do the 360 degree stunts. What we have to do is press the stunt mode on the controller and then move the controller in the direction that you would like to do your front or back flip. Just make sure that you've got enough clearance above and below and be ready for the cheers from your audience. Stunt mode will only work in the second and third speed mode, so make sure you are confident with the controls before attempting any stunts. To capture photo and video from the AR800, you must first be connected to your mobile device. To connect the drone to your chosen device, you must first download the AR800 app from the app store of your chosen device. You can find a link to the app with the included QR code card in the box. Once the app is downloaded and you have paired the drone to your controller, you can then navigate to the Wi-Fi settings of your device and find the drone there. Enter the eight digit password, which is included in the drone's Wi-Fi name, then navigate to the app, press start, tap capture photo and video, and the app will open the live feed of the drone's camera. From here, you can take photos and videos and these will be stored on your phone. To capture a photo or a video with the controllers, you can press the take photo or take video button located on the right hand side of the motion controller or with the more traditional controller, you have to compress the right hand control stick. Press it down once to capture a photo and press and hold the control stick to capture a video. The AR800 is an awesome drone to fly and safety comes first. The drone comes with easy to install rotor guards as you can see here. If you're a beginner pilot, I recommend using these guards. Avoid flying in windy or wet conditions and keep the drone away from pets and other people. Well, that's all there is to know about the AR800 drone. Whether you're capturing epic aerial shots, learning the basics of flight, or showing off with stunts to your friends, the AR800 puts the power and the fun right back into your hands. From setup to flying, it's easy, exciting, and with the brand new motion controller, totally addictive. I've been Jack, and I can't wait for you to take your AR800 for its first flight. Now get out there and happy flying. Oh, <laughs>